All right, let's get ready to read our anchor text. A tree is a plant. Turn to page 118 in your student book. We're going to look at our target skill, target strategy, and preview our topic before we get started. All right, now many selections um, tell about things in the order that they happen. Okay, that's a sequence of events. And this order is called the sequence of events. So we're going to think about what happens first, next, and last as we read. You can use a flow chart, like the one on the middle of the page, to help you keep track of the sequence of events. Describing the um, events in the order that they happen in the selection will help you understand how events are connected and help you better understand and remember the information that you read. Okay, our target strategy is question. Ask yourself questions as you read. Look for text evidence in the selection to answer your questions. So if a part of a selection or words in a selection don't make sense, you can ask yourselves and others questions about those details. Let's preview the topic. Life cycle. A seed is planted. A small plant sprouts out. Up. It grows bigger. Then beans grow on the plant. Inside the beans are more seeds that can be planted. This is the life cycle of a bean plant. An egg hatches into a tiny caterpillar. The caterpillar grows and makes a cocoon. Inside its cocoon it changes and then out comes a butterfly. This is the life cycle of a butterfly. Now every living thing has a life cycle. You can read more about the life of an apple tree in a tree is a plant. Turn the page. This is called A Tree is a Plant, and it was written, our author is Clyde Robert Bula. He lived on a farm and went to a one-room school. He loved to read and write, but he also had to do chores. When he was 10 years old, Clyde entered an essay contest and won a prize, and when he grew up, he wrote many books for children. Our illustrator, the one who drew the pictures, is Stacy Schuett. As a child, she loved to ride her horse, Snorky and to be able to observe nature, and she put lots of what she remembers in her drawings and paintings. Now remember, we're looking to tell the order in which events happen in our story, the sequence of events. The genre of this story is an informational text. An informational text gives facts about a topic. I see that a tree as a plant has labels and pictures, and you will too, as you do your preview. And they show information about the real world. So it's an informational text. Let's look at our essential question on the bottom of page 121. What happens to a tree as it grows? We're going to keep that question in mind as we preview, predict, and read a tree as a plant. Okay, I'm going to ask you to pause the video so that you can preview this selection. It starts on page 121 and ends on page 147. You are going to preview looking for the um, labels and pictures that I talked about in, in informational text. Then you're going to predict what you think the story is going to be about. Once you've done the preview and prediction, good readers also set a purpose for reading. Okay, so look at the illustrations. Think about what you know about informational text, and then you're going to set a purpose. So pause the video now and do those three things. Now that you've had a chance to preview and you've had a chance to predict what you think it's going to be about, you need to also have set your purpose. Now I see a boy swinging under a big tree. And I think that this selection is about how a tree grows, and I want to read to find out what a tree looks like as it grows bigger and bigger. What is your purpose for reading A Tree is a Plant? Pause the video now and read through the anchor text. Come back to the video once you have read through the entire selection. Now that you've read the entire text, A Tree is a Plant, we're going to think through the text. I'm going to ask you questions, and your job is going to be to pause the video, think about what you read, and answer and discuss the, the question with your learning adult. Okay?
So think about what you read about trees. What do you think these trees grow from? Why are there labels on pages 122 and 123? And how do the labels help you find information? How does the seed go from an apple to growing into the ground? What are these pages mostly about? Analyze the text, sequence of events. After many years, what happens to the little plant? The tree used to be covered just in blossoms. Describe how the tree is changing. What are the parts of a tree that you learn about on page 132? And how are the parts connected? Analyze the text, figurative language. Why do you think the author says, the bark is like a coat? What is the main idea of this part of the selection? How do the roots help the tree? How do the arrows on pages 136 and 137 help make the information clearer? On page 139, how do the words in the sentences and the picture help you know what bear means? What causes the leaves to die? How has the tree changed from the fall to the winter? What do you learn about spring from the words and illustrations? What things happen to the apple tree as long as it lives? Why do you think it needs to be warm for the blossom and the leaves to grow? Describe how the tree changes from spring to summer. Think about clues in the whole selection so far. What do you think will happen next in the tree's life? What was the author's purpose in writing this selection? You have just finished reading the informational text, A Tree is a Plant. The order in which events happen is a sequence of events. A tree is a plant tells about the events in the life of a tree. The apple tree begins as a seed. What happens next? When the tree is big, what happens to it in spring, summer, fall, and winter? You can use a chart to show the order of important events. So to understand the selection, I think about how the events and ideas are connected as I read. I will tell what happens first in the top box of my chart. So first, an apple seed is planted in the soil. Then I will tell what happens next, and I need to use time order words like first, next, and last. So when I describe the events in the life of the apple tree, I'm only going to tell the most important events in the correct order. On page 149, figurative language is something that authors sometimes use to tell how two things are the same by using the word like or as. This word choice is called a simile. In a tree as a plant, the author says that the roots are as small as hairs. Do you think this means that the roots are thick or thin? Describe how you picture the roots, and what else does the author say the roots are like?
Now we're going to return to the essential question. I'd like you to pause the video and come back after you have done the um, had a discussion with your learning adult about all of these questions on page 150. You're going to talk about what happens to a tree as it grows. And you're going to talk through these three questions and then come back to the video. Now we're going to write about reading. You're going to make a chart that shows the steps in an apple tree's life and draw what the tree looks like at each step and label the parts of a tree. Here's an example. Then you're going to write a fact of what you learned about how apple trees grow and use text evidence like words and pictures from the selection for your ideas. Your writing tip is to add labels to give more information about pictures.